Hey, what's up? It's Tom from Pack Hacker. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the sketch case for your laptop. It's not really actually a case, but more of a whiteboard sticker for your laptop. So you can have a whiteboard wherever you go. Let's check it out. At Pack Hacker, we want to help you pack less so you can travel more. So if you're new here, consider subscribing for more gear reviews just like this one. If you're not a big whiteboard fan, you can feel free to skip this video for the next one because we're gonna go in a little bit deep. So me personally, I help a lot of companies with digital product design and front-end engineering. And in my day-to-day -day life, before I was fully nomadic, I used a whiteboard nearly every day to explain high-level concepts, quickly iterate on ideas, and generally get things down on the layout perspective before going into something like Photoshop or Sketch or another program like that. So having a whiteboard for me is very important when working on a larger project, especially in the brainstorming phase. There's nothing like being able to set up a whiteboard and maybe some paper around you when you're working on a new idea or a new design. You're kind of able to make those connections a little bit easier if you can see everything holistically. So on my travels when I haven't had access to a whiteboard, I've either rented out a breather or used a room in a co-working space. I've also brought a stack of like printer paper around with me and a pencil, which is a little bit more wasteful. I've even gone as far as to use chalk markers on a window to try to get everything in my head out visually. I'm hoping that this sketch case enables me to whiteboard more in a fluid way while I'm on the road. And one thing to note, the brand name is a little bit confusing. So it's called a sketch case. It's actually just kind of like a giant sticker, which we'll get into in a second. But they do have their first Kickstarter launching on October 17th. And from there, I could totally see them going into like a V2 product where they actually have a hard case with this whiteboard coating on it, but we'll see where they head. Starting off with the installation, you wanna use this cleaning wipe and get it really clean before you apply anything. The installation was actually easier than I expected. They have this special 3M patented technology, blah, 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 that makes it a little bit easier to line it up because if you don't put any pressure on it, it sort of hovers over the stickable surface and you're able to move it around a little bit easier. And then once you have it in the position that you want, that's when you start applying the pressure. So you wanna use something like a credit card wrapped in a towel or a paper towel. We ended up just using a paper towel and then you start from the center and push out to the corners. That's gonna help you avoid any types of air bubbles. After smoothing everything out, I noticed that ours wasn't exactly centered, so we were missing a little bit of space on one side. This drove me a little bit nuts because I like things to be exact and centered, but moving forward and testing it for the last two weeks, it hasn't really created much of an issue other than just myself knowing it's not centered. So here it is if you want to take a look. It's nice, it's thin, it doesn't add any bulk at all. You can still see the apple shining through. And their logo is kind of funny. It looks like a marker smudge that just will not come off. So Sketch does come with an included marker. This is a compact size, which is nice. And there's an eraser here on the top, which is good. I have seen markers like this before. And honestly, I think the quality isn't super high. Um, I've seen something similar and they kind of break. Uh, so we also grabbed some Expo markers and these are higher quality. You can ask any teacher around. Most of them are gonna prefer Expo. So these are the dry erase fine tips. They're a little bit uh, skinnier than, you know, a traditional whiteboard marker, which is nice for travel. And on that same note, we also found these markers from U Brands, which I'd never heard of this brand before. But if you compare the size of these things together between one another, uh, the U Brands one is going to be the smallest. I did find it a little bit annoying to use because uh, it was a little bit small, right? But once you put the cap on the back, it kind of creates a nice place to grip and it's easily stowable in your carry-on or luggage. And we all know that that space is precious, taking this with you. And obviously with the whiteboard sticker, that's not taking up any additional space or you know, hardly any weight, maybe an ounce, not even. For erasing, I'm gonna assume that you don't wanna take around a giant whiteboard eraser with you. I certainly wouldn't want to either and I don't. I just use my microfiber towel uh, it's a pack towel, it's pretty nice. It's a good additional usage for that. You could also use some paper towels, but I personally tend to avoid that because it's a little bit wasteful if you're always going through and using a bunch of paper towels. 
As far as durability and usage goes, we've been testing this thing for about two weeks, and that's not quite long enough to see if this thing is gonna hold up to the elements of travel, but I wanted to get this video out there for you so you could take a look if you wanted to and if you're a whiteboard person. So far, pulling it in and out of a backpack has not proven to create any type of issue, but I'm curious to see how long the sticky part actually stays on and stays clean. You know, your backpack gets a little bit dirty. I wonder if some of that dirt can start to get under that paper. Time will tell, and we'll keep the entire durability usage timeline up to date on packhacker.com. So feel free to go check that out at any time. We have also tested this by leaving dry erase marker on the whiteboard for 48 hours. And we're happy to report that it easily wiped off after even that long of a time. Sketchcase also says that a wet erase marker will work on this and even a permanent marker is removable with the type of technology that they've got going on in this whiteboard sticker. The Sketchcase is priced at $25 at the moment. And if you hop over to their Kickstarter, you're gonna be able to back it for 15 bucks. And when they do start shipping this stuff out, that'll be ready to go for you. For the pros, this whiteboard has some great functionality and works really well without adding additional bulk and weight to your pack. It's easier than expected to apply. Like I said, I thought there would be a little bit of a challenge trying to get the sticker on there, but it does slide around and allows you to line it up before applying any pressure. For the cons, there's no added protection for your laptop. This is basically just a sticker. It doesn't come in a case. And lastly, the marker that it comes with isn't ideal. There are certainly better markers out there that you should probably grab if you want to be using this thing. Thanks for taking a look at this sticker that turns your laptop into a whiteboard. Make sure to subscribe to Pack Hacker and never miss an update. We'll see you in the next video. Done! So thanks for taking a look at the Sketchcase whiteboard sticker case thing. I don't really know what to call it.